Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Things are decently quiet for this morning. Again, we may be looking at some less quiet conditions in the Mid-South as we head into the early portions of next week. It doesn't look severe, but at this time of the year, we definitely need to be ready for that potential. So again, please keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more updates on what may be coming our direction. Again, the weekend looks good. If you have any plans for outdoors, that looks pretty well well in hand so far, but later on, again, this could be something that uh, we could be really needing to keep an eye on into the course of the next couple of days, so stay tuned for more on that. We continue again to see some quiet conditions for right now, but as we get into the course of the rest of the day, this is again something that we could be, again, looking for some a little bit breezy conditions out there at times, but not doing too bad across the Mid-South. We are live on Periscope, Twitter, and Facebook, so thanks to everybody for joining us early on Saturday morning. We're off the air on daybreak a little bit early. Have to get some of the educational programs in for the Saturday morning time period, so we had to end daybreak a little bit earlier today than what we usually do. If you have any questions about the forecast, about what's going on, if you're in the Mid-South or beyond, give us an update as to where you are, your location, and if you have a weather report from that area, or if you have questions about the forecast in your location, specifically into the Mid-South area, if you're calling in uh, from Timbuktu or around London, England, we're probably not going to be able to help you too much for right now. I'm going to be focusing in directly on the Mid-South for the time being. Uh, if you're on Periscope and Twitter, again, look down at the bottom of the screen. You can see the forecast scrolling on by, and we'll have more on the forecast for you coming up on our Facebook page as well, so stick around for more information about that. Rest of the day today, again, will be very much on the calm and quiet side for the most part. Again, looking across the area when it comes to earthquakes, we don't have anything to talk about. We don't specifically, again, it's not exactly weather, but because we are so close to the New Madrid Fault, we do like to make certain that we have everybody in line with this to watch and see what goes on. And if you'd like more information about what's happening out there, United States Geological Survey or the Center for Earthquake Research and Information from the University of Memphis, great place to go to for, again, more details as to what's going on with earthquakes in and around the area. So definitely some good news on that. As of right now, again, looking downtown Memphis in and around Second and Union Street, the St. Jude Marathon is underway, and a lot of people in downtown Memphis. Also, a lot of roadways are closed at this time in and around downtown Memphis because of the fact that the marathon is going to be going uh, all over the downtown area. But so far, again, looking at good conditions out there for the race into early this morning. That's going to be going up and down all the way around portions of downtown and in and around areas of the Round about the area throughout the rest of the downtown area close to St. Jude and should be going swinging right back on over to around areas close to the station here along Riverside Drive. Going to move our camera around so you can see a little bit more about this. This is our cotton exchange camera from downtown Memphis and you can see more about what's going on there. There's a little bit more of some of the runners making their way along Main Street and Front Street as well. So again, a little bit more activity down there for this morning as the runners and joggers are out there. And thanks to everybody for participating, especially the support staff, everybody on the research teams at St. Jude. A lot of people out there burning a lot of shoe leather to make a lot of people's lives a lot better. So if you'd like to see more about this, you can stay tuned for updates on our News Channel 3 page. Go out a little farther on our cotton exchange camera as we look out over the rest of downtown Memphis, including areas around Mississippi River and Tom Lee Park. Above the horizon, things are looking pretty nice. And again, no problems at all being seen with visibility out there. And there's some more of the joggers and strollers out across the area. Riverside Drive, Tom Lee Park, Mississippi River, and Big River Crossing lit up quite nicely this morning for the Tigers playing a little bit later on today. Uh, Sasha Golabaki, hope I'm saying that correctly. Welcome on Periscope. Thanks for joining us. A few of our other cameras around the Mid-South, a few jet contrails, golfers out and about at Windyke Country Club in Southeast Memphis. Some beautiful fall colors showing up out there as well. From City Hall Cam, Germantown, Tennessee, Poplar Pike, back toward the area of around the towers of East Memphis, showing again some clearing skies out there, but still some more clouds are going to be expected throughout the course of the rest of the day today. Mid to upper 40s right now in and around Germantown, so again, getting some nice conditions there. Temperatures in Oxford were down close to the 30s on the quad at Ole Miss, looking at temperatures back around 50 degrees so far this morning. So again, a bit on the cool side there. See Billy Franklin and Betty Smith. Welcome to the program. Thanks for stopping on by. Traffic a little bit on the heavy side into and around the area 
of the Hilton East Memphis camera. Let me see if I can get that pointed downwards by just a little bit so you can see more about what's going on out there. Traffic is moving. We've got no incidents or backups on the system for this morning, but we do still have some pretty heavy traffic out there as people are out and about, and some decent colors of uh, the fall trees out there. So if you have some chance to get out and look at the autumn colors, be a great weekend for that with some of that sunshine mixed in. Storm Tracker 3S radar, we're not seeing anything in and around the metro area at this time. The only thing we've really been picking up all morning long are these speckles, which are not rainfall. Some of this is pollution, some of it is airplanes, a lot of what you're looking at here is actually flocks of birds taking off and eventually heading down that natural highway of the Mississippi River going down to the Gulf of Mexico. So more migrations in progress. Large flocks of birds out there are being detected, easily detected, with 1 million watts of power with Storm Tracker 3S radar. New storm system on the way. We don't have much going on right now. You can see a lot of the energy of this storm system starting to swing in to the West Coast states, and this is going to be making its way a little closer toward us in the course of the next Next couple of days. Again, not seeing a lot of much of anything going on at this time. Travel this morning, not a problem. Cloudy for the most part at Memphis International. Delays of 15 minutes or less. No delays reported at this time. Everything moving along well and that trend holding steady, expected to continue as well. Rest of the continental United States, no major problems being seen. Again, green icons across the board, so good news if you are traveling at this time. Hector19620, thanks for joining us on uh, Periscope for this morning and stopping on by. Temperatures on WeatherNet 3, the warmest numbers just past 830 in the mid to upper 40s. Winds are fairly light, so we don't have much of a wind chill out there, but a jacket or a light coat would be a very good idea. Running the numbers into the rest of the day, you're going to notice that the winds are kind of out of the southeast to the southwest for the most part, but a lot of these arrows are pointing like all over the place at this time. The computer showing light and what we call variable winds that could be going from just about any other direction at this point. So mainly out of the southeast. If they do anything, they're going to be very light, and it's going to be a very mild day coming up with temperatures back in the mid to upper 60s. 50s as we head into around News Channel 3 at 10, and continuing into the 50s, a few upper 40s by daybreak into tomorrow. Rest of Sunday looks dry. No problems showing up at this time. Winds out of the southeast tomorrow picking up by just a little bit and temperatures going back into around the lower to mid 60s. Now by early Monday morning we start to see the possibility of a few light showers too warm for anything but rainfall at this time, so we don't have much of anything going on just yet. It's going to take a while for the chances of rain to really build up across the area. Then we get into Monday night. That's where we see, again, the potential for more areas of showers and thunderstorms, a lot of breezy winds, and again, could be the possibility of more problems with rain coming in from the north and from the west. Right there, as you look into southern Missouri, winds out of the south here, out of the north here, very sharp divide with this. So this is going to be a powerful punch of cold air that's going to be racing across parts of the area here. It's not going to be in the mid-south, it looks like, until late Monday evening, probably after News Channel 3 at 10. But this whole line, this whole front, is going to be passing into the area. And as this thing moves on through with a lot of moisture, we'll be seeing the possibility of some thunderstorms out there. So also with this, possibility of much cooler weather heading our direction. So this is going to be giving us uh, some of the sharpest temperature drops over the course of the that we've seen over the last few weeks. So expecting this front to be making its way in by about Monday evening. So be prepared for that. Now severe weather threat for today. Not seeing anything here. We're also not seeing anything as we go into the area on Sunday. But on Monday, the Storm Prediction Center does show a generic threat of thunderstorms, not a severe weather threat. This is just the possibility of thunderstorms. And as of right now, much of what we're seeing is going to be, again, the possibility of this generic risk starting back to the west of us and then moving into the Mid-South as we get toward Monday evening. That's going to be the best possibility right there. Uh, Zez71489815, thanks for joining us on Periscope for this morning. Uh, Crystal Daniel Robers Roberson, from, uh, good morning to you. Thanks for joining us on Facebook. Have to zoom in on stuff. The bifocals not aging gracefully, unfortunately. We'll be watching this. This forecast could change. The Storm Prediction Center and the National Weather Service in Memphis are not showing great amounts of confidence when it comes to the, the potential for severe weather. But at this time of the year, anything between 
early to mid-October to late December, we can get some really nasty severe weather through here. Uh, several years worth of evidence to support that. So if you have any plans for outdoors, especially Monday past lunchtime, that's going to be the best possibility we see of these storms out there. Very mild weekend coming up. Temperatures going back into the mid-60s for today. Again, hopefully clearing out a little bit tonight. So maybe some good stargazing weather coming up. Even warmer tomorrow, mid to upper 60s on Monday. That's where we see the potential of rainfall. Could be some sprinkles early in the morning. Most of what we're looking at is going to be in the afternoon and evening. So showers and thunderstorms from Monday afternoon onwards and late during the evening into early on Tuesday. That'll be our best possibility of strong weather. Now, that front arrives very early on Tuesday morning, probably pre-dawn patrol, somewhere in there. So we'll start off with lows in the lower 50s and maybe increase a bit to the mid 50s for highs right before we hit the sunrise period out there. But then that front slices across the mid-south. So the high temperatures on Tuesday will be set very early in the morning and then the numbers from that point onwards will drop. So if you're heading out the door, you or the kids, if you're getting out the door to school or work in the morning, take the jacket or the coat with you because it might be pretty mild starting off. Decently cool, again, not bad but it'll be in the lower 40s by the time you get home from work or school on Tuesday. So we're looking for some much cooler conditions out there, staying in the mid to upper 40s as we head through the rest of the week and into next weekend. So this is going to be a decent punch of colder air that is going to be sticking around for most of the area for the next couple of days out that direction. Uh, John David King, beautiful day. Yes, thank you very much for joining us on our Periscope, Facebook, and Twitter weather update. And everybody else joining us again on Periscope for this morning. Thanks for stopping on by. It's featuring a few things on Facebook, telling you when these things will be coming up from the comic strip XKCD, a little bit on the adult side from time to time. So you might want to check it out if you have kids out there, just in case there's the occasional swear word or adult situation popping up. But this is a cool one right here. No curse words in there. Fahrenheit Celsius. Throw them both out the window, just combine them. Really cool idea. It's, it's in jest, but it's a neat idea called Felsius, a new temperature scale. Just get rid of the, t the transfer problem all the way on through. By the time we hit 945 this morning, Astronomers Without Borders and NASA will be presenting an online event with NASA astronaut and artist Nicole Stott and author and professor Elizabeth Kessler. Good opportunity to study more information about art and science together. That'll be coming up at about the next couple of hours. That'll be in about an hour from about the time we record this. So if you'd like to find out more about that. And also tomorrow, the Wolf River Conservancy. Tomorrow night is the full moon. It's the full cold moon, but it's also going to be a super moon. It's going to be a little bit bigger than usual. And the Wolf River Conservancy will be having a bonfire tomorrow night along the Wolf River in Rossville, Tennessee. That'll be happening tomorrow night, but we posted it about the time that'll be starting about 24 hours ahead of schedule, so you can find out more about this, or you can go to the Wolf River Conservancy website and find out more about what they're doing for the Wolf River and to promote more about Pre uh, preventing anything like pollution and conservation of natural lands. Doing a lot of great work with that. Some great trash cleanups going on. If you'd like to participate, they'd love to have you along. It'll be tomorrow night again in Rossville. And more information about this will be on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash austinonic, W-R-E-G, if you'd like to know more about that. Thanks, everybody, for some great pictures out there. Picture of the cat from Alicia Joe G. Not sure if she's saying that the... Cat's name is Lewis, or she's saying hello to Lewis Haskett, who's a very regular contributor here on News Channel 3 for pictures. This is a cool one. If you take a look here, right in the center, C57 Sandy sent this along. The sun is down here. Normally, you see a halo or an arc with, again, the arc going toward the light. In this case, it's going away from it. Kind of looks like an upside down rainbow in a way. It's not a rainbow. It's something a little bit different. It's called a circumzenithal arc. It's a little bit of some ice crystals refracting the sun's light. And you can tell by seeing the shorter wavelengths of light, the red closer to the sun, bluer, longer wavelengths of light, and ultraviolet going away from the sunlight here. So again, a rare thing to see. Really cool to take a look at. Great capture. So C57 Sandy, thank you very much for capturing this. If you'd like to know more about this, details on my Facebook page. Just scroll down a little bit. You can see more information there. And a cloudy start to Friday morning from Lewis Haskett in and around northeast Arkansas. So thank you very much for being a regular contributor there. If you have weather pictures, we would love to see them and show them on our netcast and on on News Channel 3 Daybreak. The trouble is we can't show them if you don't send them. So 
you see the problem that I'm running into here. If you got stuff out there picture-wise, please send them along to me. I'd love to feature them. More information at Aonic underscore WREG3 on Twitter, Facebook, Periscope, also all over the web on any other location out there you can almost possibly imagine, although I'm still having trouble with Snapchat. I'll get Nina to help me out on that a little bit later on. If you have questions about the forecast, stay tuned for more. We'll have more details coming up later on tonight, News Channel 3, just after NCAA football and on News Channel 3 at 10. And, of course, I'll be on back again tomorrow morning with News Channel 3 Daybreak. So definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. Questions, concerns, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. And stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the course of the rest of the weekend for more updates on your Mid-South forecast.